Thanks, Elizabeth. Uh, Congressman Louis Gohmert, seeing the devastating effects of Obamacare firsthand. This week, the Texas congressman confirmed he's dropped his family's health care coverage altogether to save money. Otherwise, his deductible would increase from $3,000 to $6,000 and his policy price from $300 to $1,500. Here to explain to that and a whole lot more, Congressman Louis Gohmert. Congressman Gohmert, you don't want to pay this, so now you have no insurance, nor does your family? Well, it's uh, my daughters are, are over uh, 21. They're adults now. But, uh, you know, one of them could be uh, under the 26 limit. But the problem is that when Obamacare actually kicked in, just as we knew, if you liked your insurance, as I did, I had a health savings account, then I wasn't going to be able to keep it because it doesn't meet the requirements. Under my other policy, I didn't have maternity care, Brian. I got to have maternity care if Obamacare is going to say uh, I have a, a legitimate policy. So I didn't drop it. It's a matter of it not being consistent with the requirements of Obamacare. And since my wife and I are paying off our kids' uh, college uh, loans, because uh, if I had not run for public office, if I'd stayed in the private sector, their college was taken care of. I didn't want them to have to sacrifice because I made the decision of, of going into public service. So that's where we are. Right. I, I don't have an extra $1,200 a month. And we are setting money aside in the event we need it. But, Brian, don't forget, you know, 40 years ago, hardly anybody in the country had health insurance. And this is one of the areas we really need reform in. So whatever something costs, it ought to be posted. And gotcha. somebody paying cash ought to get the same deal Blue Cross, Aetna, and others get. Yeah, we have to have some way to understand how much all this stuff costs right now. We're all we're right. still blind to it. Let's move on to another topic that caused some controversy. First, let's hear a soundbite of something that you said on the House floor. We're seeing more and more young women, single women, come up before me, single moms, charged with welfare fraud. So that you said you went on to say one of the reasons you got into uh, public service, got into Congress, is because of, of this. Do you want to expand on that? Well, yeah, and I talked at length on the floor. And thank, literally, Brian, thank God for Fox News. You get the truth out. You get actually what was said. The left tried to say I was attacking single moms. And if you listen to what I said, the whole point was it bugged the fire out of me that these young women... And the stories were usually very, very similar. They got bored with high school, and somebody might say, hey, drop out. The government will send you a check for every child you can have out of wedlock. They have one child, and they find out that's really not enough to live on. They have another and another. Right. Now, fortunately, everybody didn't do that. But what got me is, for so many young women, the government meaning well, lured them into right. a hole or rut they couldn't get out of without having to, to try to right. cheat and get a job and keep the welfare. So, so the let me just problem say, real I quick, had well, real quick, this is the, the government's fault. They misconstrued yeah, what the you said. the government's fault. And exactly. they misconstrued what you said. Here's what MSNBC said. And real quick, let's take a look at that quote because they said this, family decay, single moms get blamed for poverty from the GOP. So they characterize your statement uh, your statement as saying Republicans are blaming single moms for all these yeah. problems, which you just explained, is not the truth. Yeah. So that that is... It was the government's fault for luring them away from their God-given potential. We need to encourage and incentivize young women, not declare war on them by le leading them into ruts like the Democrats did. You want to see who cares. It's the people that try to re help them reach their potential, gotcha. not lure them into a servitude away from it. All right. And so the problem is the government, not those single moms. But now you're in public service and you have a law degree and was a judge, but now you're doing this. Congressman, thanks so much That's for joining right. us. Thanks. Always good to talk to you, Brian. All right. Coming up straight.